Welcome to Montana Matters. We're joined by Lauren Wright. She is the Executive Director of the Billings Community Foundation, and it's so great to have you back on the show today, Lauren. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Of course, so we know your organization is responsible for a lot of wonderful things in the community. Uh, people might be familiar with Yellowstone Valley Gives, but we're actually talking today about year-end giving. Yep. Uh, what is the mission of your organization? Well, we are so excited. We at the Billings Community Foundation really focus on promoting philanthropy and charitable giving here in our community, making sure that donors are connected with the nonprofits that they care about most so that they're able to have perpetual support uh, for their organizations as they grow. Okay, and what's your number one need right now? Maybe let's talk a little bit about that plan giving. Yeah, so right now we're really uh, ramping up our endowment giving, our plan giving for those nonprofits, building their endowment accounts, building our own endowment accounts, uh, making sure that as we look to the future, we are uh, capturing the wealth here in Billings for the benefit of those nonprofits that are making the biggest difference. Okay, and that's something that people can think about all year long, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, okay. I mean, a lot of the things we do at the foundation, Yellowstone Valley Gives, our granting cycle, um, they're all helping to propel us to support those nonprofits. And then when you look at year-end giving, it's really a way to support the nonprofits that you care about, but then also lower your tax liability. Uh, the 40% Montana Endowment Tax Credit is such a wonderful thing for our community. Um, it's such a great benefit to the donors. And then we're able to uh, do annual disbursements to the nonprofits that it's benefiting. So Okay, so if folks win -win. are out there listening, they want to help the organizations that you support, what do they do? Do they get in touch with you? Absolutely. Okay. So you can call the foundation, you can visit us online at uh, billingscommunityfoundation.org, uh, or you can uh, find us on Facebook, and all of the forms and information are located there, and we can get that process for you as long as gifts come in before December 31st. Okay, and if they miss the December 31st deadline, start thinking about it for next year, right? Absolutely, <laughs> we will process it and send you the paperwork, and thank you just the same. <laughs> okay, sounds great. So what other needs do you have throughout the rest of the year? Yeah, so we are, this year um, was my first year wrapping up at the foundation, which was such a phenomenal year. We had some really, really big wins with Yellowstone Valley Gives, um, the new Myrie Foundation account that we're going to be managing, which is almost a million dollars wow. here for our community for granting and things like that. Um, but we're still raising money for the MJ Murdoch Charitable Grant, which um, helps fund my position and some of the growth that we've seen this year. We have a $21,000 match that has been put up by Ralph Spence, who's one of our board members. And so um, if you like to uh, support the foundation and the wonderful things that we've been able to do this year to support our growth and uh, capacity here in the community, we'd absolutely love your support for the MJ Murdoch Charitable Trust. Okay, so a lot of options for giving this year. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> okay. Anything you'd like, we can make it happen. Okay, and I can't believe it's already been a year for you. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and it's, it's been, been exciting. Well, it's been a, a very busy year. It has. Yellowstone it Valley has. Gives. Talk to us about how the turnout was this year. For oh, that. it was just phenomenal. We had um, over 104 nonprofits participate in Yellowstone wow. Valley Gives this year, and in that 24 plus hours, we were able to raise over $164,000 for their benefit. So our community really came out and showed how generous they could be, uh, rallied around those nonprofits and really celebrated philanthropy here in the community. That's incredible. When is that each year? It is the first Thursday and Friday every year, so that'll be May 2nd and 3rd coming up. And um, as soon as we hit year end, we are going to be gearing back okay. up for Yellowstone Valley Gives. All right, well, Lauren, thank you so much again for being here and for all that you do to help out our community. If you'd like to nominate a nonprofit to come on the show, visit Avitas Group's website.